Welcome everyone to this interesting question. We are given our a circle and two squares. This green square, two of its sides are tangential to the given circle, and this red square, its two vertices are lying on the circumference of the circle, where this one vertex is lying at the point of tangent. Given is the distance between these vertices of green and red square is four centimeter. Exciting part is with this limited data. we have to find radius of this circle we'll solve the same question in two ways our first approach will be formal approach using mathematical formulas and second approach will be logical approach solving same question without any formula or theorem let's check the formal approach first let's start by assuming the radius of this circle is r cm we know that radius is perpendicular to the tangent and thus this angle a and d they will be 90 degrees in fact this figure formed is a square with side length ab also as r cm now let's assume this angle here that's angle cab is alpha degrees and this angle here this is beta degrees now alpha plus beta is 90 that is they are complementary to each other and here with respect to this red square this angle here is 90 degree and thus this remaining angle here that will be alpha degrees now let's join eo which is radius r cm also let's assume the side length of this red square is x cm so ea is x and ac is x Now if we look at the triangle CAB and triangle EAO they have got side lengths x and r x and r and they have angle alpha in between them thus by SAS both the triangles are congruent to each other as the triangles are congruent thus the corresponding parts will be equal or we can say that EO length will be equals to BC length and thus your oe length that is radius r is nothing but 4 cm and that's our answer now let's check the logical approach in our logical approach we'll exploit the fact that very limited data is provided with respect to green and red square so in case if we'll change slightly your green square dimensions or the angle at which the red square is inclined but keeping bc length as 4 cm the radius of the circle should not change otherwise the question itself will become invalid let's first make a copy of this figure here now how about this angle at which the red square is inclined so this nothing is uh, provided related to this angle so we can rotate this square keeping one angle point a as at this point of tangency and this vertex point e on the circumference now this new figure formed is still meeting all the original conditions that is one vertex is at the point of tangency and the second vertex is lying at the circumference and this bc distance is 4 cm and thus the radius of circle should remain same what about this size of this green square what if i'll increase the size or decrease the size then also the area or the radius of the circle should not change so let's reduce the size of this green square so that this vertex coincide with the center of the circle now here this figure still meets all the original conditions of the question so with respect to green square if you will see still two of the side lengths are tangent to the circle and thus the radius of circle should remain same now here if we'll observe carefully with respect uh, to the sides of this green square so each side length is r cm and the side length of this red square that is nothing but 2r or the diameter and ac length is r plus 4 so comparing it will get r as 4 cm and that's our answer i hope you enjoyed the solution I will see you in next video till then tata bye bye